Hey y'all and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made this custom bed canopy for my daughter's bedroom. Last week we tackled these walls, but with that high ceiling, I want to add some drama. So I ordered this bed canopy hardware from Etsy. So the kit comes with this, these two brackets that kind of will go on the wall, I think like this. And then you have a back bar and then this flexible acrylic one that will bend around. And I've already put the, um, this curtain on this one and you can get them in different sizes. I got a 20 inch because I didn't want it to overwhelm my daughter's twin size bed. Okay, so I wanted to show you how easy this will be to use ready-made curtains or possibly fabric you already have. I went to the thrift store yesterday. I got the 20 inch crown and um, or the 20 inch bracket because her, um, she has a twin bed and I just thought that it was proportionate. So if you have a full size bed or bigger queen, king, whatever, I would go with something larger. It goes up to, I forget what the measurements are, but it had quite a few options available on Etsy. So I've been wanting to accent this room with blues. So I found this curtain and it looks like Elsa to me. It has the blue with some really pretty um, detailing on here. And it just looks like something you would find in Arendelle, which is perfect because my daughter loves princesses. I want to give it a touch of like a Regency vibe, you know, Bridgerton and all that. So this is going to go on the back of it behind her bed on the pink. It's going to look so pretty. And then on the like flexible piece, we had these pink curtains and I am going to reuse them. She's got, uh, I had four panels on there. So I'm going to use two of them. Um, Unfortunately, it has grommets instead of like a thing to just put it on. So I'm going to have to like fold it over and sew it or might even hot glue it um, to go around the top. And since that might not look the best, so I've got these two to kind of go on either side. <laughs> not sure if you can see this to go like on either side of the blue, can you, can you see that? <laughs> so I think that's gonna look really pretty. But then I totally forgot that I had this sheer thing that I also got at the thrift store and I was gonna use it as a curtain, but it's so long, but I thought it would be really pretty to kind of hide the, where I'm gonna have to, you know, fix where the grommets are. And I could kind of, um, use it to kind of fall in like this shape and kind of wrap it around the acrylic band. Um, and then I love when I see pictures of um, curtains behind beds and then they've got some kind of picture on them. So we also found this at the thrift store yesterday and she actually made out quite well yesterday we found also this little that little suitcase if you can see it right there that was a dollar and then we also found her some new princess shoes so we made out like bandits at the thrift store but um it's on a canvas and it's already got the hanging hardware if you can see i paid $3.99 for it at goodwill kind of pricey but for like an actual oil painting and not something that was from a store. Um, I was pleasantly surprised and it has the pink in here 
and then against this blue, it is going to look so pretty. So let's get this hung. So what I specifically ordered was the um, DIY canopy frame kit for rod pocket curtains from Etsy. I will link it down below. And they had different sizes. You had, I got the smallest one, which was a 20 inch width, but you could also have a 27, 36, 40, or 49. And it was, um, in, in the instructions, you're supposed to measure the width and that's where you place your brackets. So uh, once I determined where the holes needed to be, I used my drill to drill the holes. You wanna try and hit a stud. Luckily, the tops of both of mine hit a stud. So I only needed the little, um, um, what do you call them? The anchors for one of the holes. But if you aren't hitting a stud, make sure you use the anchors because the fabric is heavy and the last thing you want is it falling on your head. I didn't completely tighten down the screws all the way. I wanted to dry fit each of the little uh, bands to make sure that they fit in the brackets properly and nothing was too tight. I actually did have to move one of them down just a hair to allow for more room to slide the back bracket in, but it was really easy to do. So what I've done is I've taken the grommets and just folded it over at the seam and I've already started gluing, but I think I stopped about here. You just take your glue gun, just add hot glue along the very edge, and be careful while you press it down. I already did that one up there, so I think it's going to work. So I wanted to give you a close up. So here is the bracket on this side. And if you pull back this part, you can see this screw where you um, can, I don't know if you can see that. I can see better on this side, yeah. You have to take off this screw to pull this part off to change the curtains and then it's the same thing on the other side and then I just slipped on the one set but the grommets on there look like they're holding up and then they'll just drape to the side and then this is a separate piece right here this is just another extra piece and it goes into this bracket and things behind. So I've just attached this with a nail straight through the fabric and then I kind of did this with other pieces of fabric like I've nailed another one behind this one and then I've nailed these together so that they don't come loose. And then when you kind of drape them together, you don't really see it. And then these were kind of short, but if I tuck them in with this, you can't even tell because this goes all the way to the floor. So just a reminder of what it looked like without the canopy. And then this is how it turned out. I am absolutely obsessed. I think it turned out better than I imagined. It is the perfect mixture of colors and I love all of the layers and the different fabric 
it just, I was blown away by how simple and easy this was, but what a big impact it's going to make. And my daughter absolutely loves it. She ran out and said, mommy, it's perfect. So it is Lizzie approved. So another successful project in the books. Stay tuned for next time to see what other shenanigans we get up to in here. And once again, thank you so much for stopping by the mansion and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.